Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. And you are assured that you will receive value from my video. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you are alerted when new videos are being uploaded. Also, there are ads that will be playing on the videos. Please don't skip them. Please watch them. It is your way of showing appreciation for the hard work that goes into preparing these videos. Also, give this video a thumbs up by liking it. So today we'll be looking at the CSEC chemistry, May, June 2017, paper one. A good friend of mine has worked out the solutions to this paper and so I wanted to present this video to you so it could be of assistance to those who, students who are doing the CSEC chemistry subject. So for some of the questions, I'll be reading it and for some you can just look on your screen and you will see the answers that will be provided. So let's get into this paper. The first question says, which of the following processes provide evidence of the particulate nature of matter? One diffusion, two filtration, three osmosis. So the answer is B, one and three only. Let's go on to item question number two. It says item two refers to the following table, which gives the melting points and boiling points of the chlorides of four ele elements. So you can take a look at the table there. It says which of the elements forms a chloride that is ionic in nature? The answer is C3. Three. three says which of the following elements has seven electrons in its outer shell? The answer is D, chlorine, or chlorine, sorry. Four says, an atom has 20 electrons. When it ionizes, it has a, the same electronic configuration as the answer is B, argon. Five says, which of the fallen elements does not form simple ions by gaining or losing electrons? The answer is A, carbon. Item six, question six, it says, some calcium carbonate was reacted with excess dilute hydrochloric acid. The volume of carbon dioxide evolved was recorded and plotted against time. Which of the following graphs represents the reaction? And as you can see, the answer is A. Let's move on to question number seven. So you can take a look at question number seven. And the answer for question seven is D. Question number eight says, which of the foreign acids will not form an acid salt? The answer is D, CH3, CO2H. Question number nine, you can take a look at that. And the answer for question nine is A, 1.2. Let's go on to question number 10. It says, which of the following oxides may show both acidic and basic properties? The answer is D, aluminum oxide. 11 says a mixture of copper 2 oxide and copper 2 sulfate is best separated by the answer C, shaking with excess water and then filtering. 12 says which of the following elements exhibits allotropy? The answer is B, carbon. 13. Which of the following statements is true of an endothermic reaction? The answer is B. Heat is absorbed from the surroundings. Let's go on to number 14. It says, in which of the following substances will electrolysis not occur? 
when an electrical current is passed through it? The answer is C, solid sodium chloride. 15 cells. Which of the following are physical properties of ionic substances? One, high melting points. Two, soluble in organic solvents. Three, good conductors of electricity in the liquid state. The answer is one and three only B. Number 16, which of the following substances when added to pure water significantly increases the water's conductivity? The answer is D, sodium chloride. 17, a separating funnel can be used to separate a mixture of B, water and kerosene. 18, items 18 to 19, refers to the following terms. A, ionic crystals, B, simple molecular, three, macromolecular, and D, metallic. In answering items 18 to 19, each term may be used once, more than once, or not at all. 18, which of the following, which of the above terms describes the structure of sodium chloride? The answer is A, ionic crystals. 19, which of the above terms describe the structure of copper? The answer is D, metallic. Let's go on to 20. It says the pH of fresh sugar cane juice, which is usually 5.0 to 5.5, can be changed to 7.5 to 8.0 for more efficient processing by adding. The answer is C. Let's go on to number 21. Which two of the following statements describe acid salts? One, their anions cannot dissociate to give hydrogen ions. Two, they form a normal salt when all replaceable hydrogen of the acid is removed. Three, their anions can dissociate to give hydrogen ions. Four, they are not capable of generating a normal salt. The answer is C, 2, and 3. Let's go on to our next question, question 22. It says, a piece of metal is reacted with an acid to pr produce hydrogen gas. Which of the following procedures should be employed in order to increase the rate of the reaction? 1. Increasing the temperature at which the reaction is carried out. 2. Subdividing the lump of metal. 3. Reducing the concentration of the acid. The answer is A, 1 and 2 only. Three, 23, the atomic number of an element is defined as a number of? The answer is B, protons. 24, which of the following halogens is a liquid at room temperature? The answer is A, bromine. 25 says, which of the following statements is true for the equation below? You can take a look at the equation below. The answer is C. Go on to 26. The element that is used to determine the relative atomic mass of other elements is? The answer is B, carbon 12. Items 27 to 28 refer to the following table showing various tests for gases. You can take a look at it. So the, in answering items 27 to 28, each option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So 27 says, which, which test can be used to identify an acid gas? The answer is A. So the answer is A for 27. 28 says, which test can be used to identify ammonia gas? The answer is B. The answer is B for that. Let's go on to question 29. Which of the following does not take place during electrolysis? The answer is B. Anions move towards the cathode. Let's go on to number 30. It says, which of the following diagrams illustrates the course of an exothermic reaction? The answer is A. Let's 
go on to number 31. So you can take a look at question 31. The answer is C for that. So item 32 refers to the following graph, which shows the boiling points of some straight chain alcohol. So you can take a look at the graph as well. So it says, which of the following molecule formula represents the alcohol whose boiling point is 180 degrees Celsius? The answer is D. So you can always go back on the video to look at it. So the answer is D. 33. You can take a look at question 33. So to which homologous series does the following structure belong? You can take a look at the structure. And the answer for 33 is A. Thirty-four. Which of the following is the name of the compound CH three CH two CH two CH two O H? The answer is D one butanol. Item thirty-five to thirty-six refers to the following conversions of ethanol. So you can take a look. It says in answering the items thirty-five to thirty-six, each convert. John may be used once, more than once, or not at all. 35, which of the conversions above correctly represents the dehydration of ethanol? The answer for 35 is C. 36. For question 36. Which of the following conversions above requires manganate 7 K M N O four. The answer is A for that. So the answer is A. Item thirty seven to thirty eight refers to the following equation. So there we have our equation. It says the forward reaction is known as C esterification. Thirty eight says the reverse reaction is known as the answer is B, hydrolysis. Let's go on to 39. It says cracking is a process of breaking down. A is our answer. Let's go on to 40. It says, so we have, it refers to the following equation. So you take a look at the equation. It says which of the following processes correctly describes the equation of above. The answer is B, neutralization. 41, an organic substance when reacted with bromine water decolorizes it immediately. The substance is most likely an C alkene. 42, glucose is converted to starch or cellulose by, the answer is D, condensation, polymerization. 43, compounds in a homologous series the answer is C. Differ successively by a CH2 group. 44. Ethene reacts with hydrogen chloride and hydrogen chloride. These reactions are all examples of the answer is A, addition. 45. Which of the following substances is not a polymer? The answer is C, fructose. 46 says, which of the following methods is used for the extraction of aluminum? The answer is A, electrolysis of its molten oxide. 47 says, which of the following statements about sulfur are true? 1. It is used in the vulcanization of rubber. 2. It is used in the extraction of iron from iron ore. 3. It is used in the manufacture of explosives. The answer is B, 1 and 3 only. Let's go to 48. It says soapless detergents are, the answer is D, not affected by hard water. 49. A solution when treated with sulfur dioxide gas becomes green. The solution contains potassium, 
The answer is C, dichromate 6. 50. A suitable drying agent for the laboratory preparation of ammonia gas is? The answer is A, calcium oxide. 51. When copper 2 carbonate is heated alone in a dry test tube, a gas is evolved and a black residue is formed. The gas is expected to? The answer is D. Form a white precipitate with aqueous calcium hydroxide. 52. An element that is non-metal. The answer is C. Forms an acidic oxide. 53 says, which of the following observations is likely when excess aqueous ammonia is added to a solution of copper 2 sulfate and the mixture is shaken? The answer is C, deep blue solution. Item 54 refers to the following metals. So it says in answering item 54, a particular metal may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So there we have it from A, B, C, and D. 54 says, which metal reacts vigorously with water to produce a strongly alkaline solution? The answer is D, N, A. 55 says, which metal has an alloy which is used in the manufacture of aircraft? The answer for that is A, A, L. 56 says, which of the following reactions is least likely to occur? The answer for that is D. Let's go to 57. It says the main substances responsible for acid rain are, the answer is D, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. 58 says, which of the following observations is expected when, when aqueous silver nitrate is added to aqueous potassium chloride. The answer is C, a white precipitate appears. 59. Which metal appears between copper and aluminum in the reactivity series and is an important component in the hemoglobin? The answer is B, iron. Which of the final question, which of the following gases will give a positive test with dry cobalt chloride paper, the answer is BH2. So we have come to the end of the CSEC chemistry, May, June 2017, paper one. I hope this video was of benefit to you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in our next video.